Question number five. Packets of cereal are packed in boxes, each containing six packets. The masses of the packets are normally distributed with mean 510 grams and standard deviation 12 grams. The masses of the empty boxes are normally distributed with mean 70 grams and standard deviation 4 grams. First part, find the probability that the total mass of a full box containing 6 packets is between 3050 and 3150 grams. Second part, a packet and an empty box are chosen at random. Find the probability that the mass of the packet is at least 8 times the mass of the empty box. Now for the first part of the question I will define the six packets being normally distributed with mean 510 and standard deviation 12 whereas for the um, basket mean 70 standard deviation 4 remember we need to look at a box one box with six packets so the whole situation will change the means for six packets is going to be mean for six packets six times 510 okay so 510 times 6 3060 okay plus the mean for one box that's going to be 70 and uh, if you add it up 3130 for the new standard deviation for the packets it's going to be 6 times 12 to the square okay and that's 864 plus um, the standard deviation for the box is going to be 1 times 4 to the square which is then 16 here that comes to 880 let's define the new uh, combination as x being normally distributed with mean 3130 and variance 880 so now we need to find that a box containing six packets will have a weight lying between okay um, between 3150 and 3050 so we're going to try to find this area here the probability so this, therefore probability of x being less than 3150 at the same time uh, x being greater than 3050 so basically we're looking at if we standardize in a moment we have x uh, being less than 3150 minus the probability of x being less than 3050 therefore probability of z is going to be less than 3150 minus the mean 3130 divided by the standard deviation root of 880 minus the probability of z being less than 3050 minus the mean 3130 divided by the standard deviation here so if we work this out in a calculator we have uh, then 0 0.674 minus here you're going to get minus so that's going to be phi of minus 2.697 so 0 0.674 minus 1 into minus the phi of, I mean phi of 0 0.674, phi of 2.697 and therefore we check these values from our table, we come up with these figures and if you work this out you will see to three significant figures that probability will be 0 0.746 uh, for a box of six packets containing six packets lying between 3050 being less than x being less than 3150 so here we are for the first part of the question 
Now for the second part of the question, a packet and an empty box were chosen. And we have to find the probability that the mass of the packet is at least eight times the mass of the box. Probably that mass of one packet is at least eight times mass of the box. Okay, so eight times the mass of the box um, we know is um, 70 grams here, mass of the box. So what we're going to do, eight times 70. So we need to find the probability that the mass is greater than 8 times 5 is 56, 560 grams. Now we know that um, we are looking at a combination of the variance and uh, the mean. So let us work out the variance, okay? So variance of one packet plus um, 8 times. So that's going to be 8 times the box, 8 times the mass of the box. So this is uh, 1 to the square times the variance of one packet plus 8 to the square times the variance of the box. So that's 1 to the square times 12 to the square because the variance of the box is given as uh, 12 in the question and for that of the uh, variance of the packet is 12 and that of the box is 4. All right, so 12 to the square, all right, plus um, 8 to the square times the variance is 4 to the square. And uh, so we have 144 plus 64 times 16. And let us work this out 64 times 16, okay, plus 144, that's going to be 1168. So 1,168. So let us define a new random variables now. So we have, let us see why uh, normally distributed with mean. The mean is the same, okay, one box, uh, 510, and the new variance is 1,160. So if we were to find for 560, greater, at least greater than 560, therefore probability of y being greater than 560 is going to be standardized to z being greater than 560 minus the mean 510 divided by the standard deviation 1168. So let's work this out. It's going to come up to probability of z being greater than 1.463. So Oh, sorry, that should have been, yeah, yeah. Probability of Z being greater than 1.4. So that's 1.463. That's 1 minus the phi of 1.463. So 1 minus, um, check this out, 0 0.92827. Okay, so let me just uh, check it out on my calculator here. 1.4. 462, isn't it? Not 63. Yeah, 0 0.92827. Here we are. 0 0.92827. So take one, one take away this, and this should be your answer. Okay, so have 0 0.0717 to three significant figures. Now this is the second part to the question. So let's take a look here at how beautiful this is. Here we go. The full answer to that question. Take care.